Welcome to where Miss Edda's Academic Corner. Thanks for joining us. Here's Judah Sr. and Judah Jr. Nice to see you guys are back with us. I know you enjoy reading. Oh, you brought a little shell with you. Okay, you can have that. That's good. Sometimes our kids need something to help them out. Just don't throw it. Just leave it right there. So, boys and girls, tonight we're going to read a book called Antoine and the Talking Coin. We're going to read it in parts. So we're going to start with part one tonight, and then we'll continue in our next meeting. This is Antoine and the Talking Coin, and it's a book written by Mark T. Jones Sr. And yes, that's Apostle Mark T. Jones, who is the apostle at Center for Manifestation here in Florida. So this is by Mark T. Jones. It's a senior. It's a softback book. And we have a picture of a boy putting some coins in a piggy bank. I hope you all have a little savings or a piggy bank where you're putting your coins. Parents, if you haven't started one, now's a good time. And boys and girls, that's where you save money. You don't go in there and take money out. You save money. And yes, you can have more than one piggy bank. That's a good question that you asked Judas Jr. Antoine has a never-ending list of things that he wants to buy. So Antoine's sitting there making that list of what he wants to buy. Now, where's Antoine getting the money? That's my question. Well, let's find out. However, every time Antoine told Mama about the things that were on his list, he heard, money doesn't grow on trees. What do you think I am, an ATM machine? We can't afford it. All that fancy, dancy stuff. Even though Mama's priorities didn't seem to match Antoine's list, he decided one day I'm going to have all of the money I need to buy everything on my list. Little did Antoine know that one day would be the very next day. Now, I know the adults, your parents have heard uh, money don't grow on trees. I know I heard it. <laughs> the next day while walking home from school, observing all of the nice cars that were parked along the street, Antoine noticed a very popular rich man, Maxwell A. Million, getting into his car. As Mr. Million was getting into his car, he failed to notice that a silver coin had fallen out of his pocket as he pulled away. Have you ever found coins on the floor? I have. So remember, Antoine's on his way, walking home from school. Antoine tried to get his attention, but he was unsuccessful. That means he wasn't able to get his attention. As he walked away, oh, looking at the odd-shaped silver coin, he noticed that it seemed to be worn on one side more than the other. So that tells us what? That Antoine picked the coin up. He was trying to give it back to Mr. Million, but he wasn't able to. So he started checking out the coin. Out of curiosity, Antoine rubbed the coin on that very side that was worn. He rubbed the coin. What do you think happened? You got any guesses? Any guesses? Suddenly, the image on the coin came alive and spoke to Antoine. Ooh. What is he saying to Antoine? Any guesses? Let's find out. Wishes are wishes, and dreams are just dreams. But vision and execution gives life to both, said the coin. Let's repeat that. Wishes are wishes, and dreams are just dreams. But vision and execution gives life to both. That's what the coin said. Who said that? exclaimed Antoine. But the coin did not respond. So Antoine's trying to figure out who said that. But we all know it was the coin, right? Yep. Antoine considered 
the meaning of what the coin had said to him and decided to answer the corner store owner and decided to ask the corner store owner what it meant. It means, now this is the owner telling him what it meant. It means you have to have a plan and work at your plan. And consistently, if you're going to prosper, son, said the old store owner. That was a lesson for Antoine. And I'm going to repeat it. It's really important. It means you have to have a plan and work at your plan consistently. If you're going to prosper, son, said the old store owner. So this is for everybody, children and adults. We all need a plan. And we have to work consistently at the plan. Curious as to what other information the coin could give him, Antoine rubbed the coin again, just as he had done the last time. The coin says, time cannot be saved, nor can it be burnt. Of all that comes as a wage, saving must be learned, said the coin. I'm going to read that again. Time cannot be saved, nor can it be burned. Of all that comes as wage, saving must be learned, said the coin. Whoa, what does that mean? Let's see what Antoine finds out. Well, we're not going to find out until our next reading. So we're going to leave you with that thought. Ponder, what could that mean? And I'm going to repeat it. Time cannot be saved, nor can it be burned. Of all that comes as wage, saving must be learned. So stay tuned for part two of Antoine and the Talking Coin. Thank you.